Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are currently at London's Heathrow Airport Terminal 5 and we are staying in the Sofitel tonight and we are on floor number two in room 5214 and this is probably the nicest room I've stayed in on this channel. So let's get in the room and I'll show you around. The key card is on the outside. You actually just push the door and then you slot the key in this way. You can control all the lights and everything via here to up the brightness and let's put the bathroom light on because that is where we will go first just after I show you the two big wardrobes. Absolutely full of hangers and then the other one has a lovely nice dressing gown. You've got the little um, slippers. Love me, use me. Oh, I can take them away. Um, and then whatever this is down here. The bathroom, it's very nice. It's very nice. So we have this shower, which has a waterfall shower head, along with this other one. You've got your two tabs here and you have your fancy Balmain body wash, shampoo and conditioner. I will be using the shower later. You've got your toilet, your phone by the toilet. You've got toilet roll and hankies everywhere. You've got your body lotion, glasses. You've got a, an adjustable mirror, a huge mirror. And then a TV in the wall. Just show the sink. Although I will say, this looks like a kitchen tap to me. Um, above the bath, we've got a couple of face cloths. We have a soap and shower caps, a comb, a shaving kit, and a dental kit. All these things you can take away. Um, we also have a shower head, a shower head, a shower in the bath, along with your taps. Again, your fancy Balmain products, another bar of soap. It looks like a nice deep bath as well. And then your towels. And the second dressing gown. Towels feel okay. I thought they might have felt a little bit softer. Now, when we leave the bathroom to the left of the door as you come in, this was our door as you come in, we have another big mirror. And then we have this. So we have some tea and coffee facilities. We have a chocolate chip cookie. I will be having that. This is um, a menu. This is a breakfast menu, actually. But we also have an espresso machine. Now, I believe you can use this because why would it be open? Um, and your espresso machine is here. Um, it just needs plugged in. Underneath, you have a couple of glasses. That is where your kettle is. And then you have a nice bucket that you can fill up. There is ice machines. Um, there's rooms on every level. I did pass one on the way to the room. In here, we have your safe and your fridge, which I believe, oh, there is stuff in it. Obviously, I won't be having anything in it. Please enjoy refreshments available in the mini bar with our compliments. Does that mean that's free? Oh gosh. I'm not sure, I'll have to read that properly. <laughs> now let's check out the room. So we'll work our way around from left to right. So here we have your TV. Wonderful. We have a big desk area. Got our little desk light. Doesn't seem to want to do anything. <laughs> we do have lots of different power sockets and things. Um, HDMI cable and of course your USB. You then have a double plug socket here. And then this is an American one, I think. And then we have, of course, another big mirror right here, along with notepad, pen, and a phone. I seem to have a room in the end on the corner because that's on the corner, obviously. Next to that, we have a little couch, or a little seat. And a we have the boutique. Wow, a little table. Then in the corner, we have a little orchid on a lovely table. And if I stand back, you will see 
just how big this room is. It's huge. Here's the bed. It's massive. Another mirror. I don't really want to look at myself after all this traveling. And we've got a little photo on the wall here as well. Save energy and water. Sheets are customarily changed after each day. Place this card in the bed if you'd like us to change the sheets. I do like those lights actually. And then we'll come around to the other side because we have another phone. Lots of phones in this room. You've got another notepad and pen. I'm assuming you can take this. We've got turn down service. Oh, okay. We've got plugs down here. We've got more of these, oh, sorry. We have more of these, which was at the front door here. And there'll be another plug on the other side as well. Let's do the comfort test. Not bad, comfy but firm, comfy but firm. I still can't get over the size of this room. Oh gosh, I will say this. <clears throat> this room was not cheap. I'm not gonna talk about how much it cost me, but this trip has taken well over a year to save for, and I've never flown from Heathrow before. I am traveling by myself, and it was more for that sort of comfort and safety level to stay in the hotel that was part of Terminal 5, and this is the only one, and it's attached to the building, um, so it did cost a little bit of money, and it is five star, and I would say you can kind of tell. Um, the staff were amazing as well, downstairs in reception, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below if you stayed at a sofa hotel before, or what do you think of this room? And also, have you stayed in any of the other hotels at um, Heathrow before? Please do let me know. Uh, hit the big red subscribe button down below to check out lots more content on the channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live, because there will be many California vlogs to follow this video. And that's it. I've been Dizima, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.